When using your interactive Epson projector, there are three ways to use it in your classroom. The first mode does not need to be attached to a computer or any kind of device. You simply turn on your projector and you can have a blue screen like this and you can begin to write. I take my pen, hover it close to the board and my displays will show up. I click on the triangle to get my tool for writing and I grab whatever color I want and I can write my quick message to my class. This functionality is great for just-in-time learning, but I cannot save in this function. The blue screen may not be your favorite. To get to a whiteboard that you're more accustomed to, I again click on the triangle. I go up to what I'm going to call, it looks like um, a chalkboard on wheels, and I click it and it will take me to my whiteboard that I'm much more familiar with. Once again, this is great for just-in-time learning, but this does not save either. I can write today's homework, a quick announcement, and this is how I would use this functionality in my whiteboard in my first mode of non-computer connected mode. My second way I use my board is to then turn on my computer. I install my HDMI and my USB. And now, if I were in my normal mode, which I'm going to get to by grabbing my pen and clicking on the rectangle interactive board, I now have a display that I can see. I can erase what I wrote before by clicking my erase feature and hitting yes. And now I can annotate on this like I would in class. I can highlight how this is an ocean country and I can highlight our continent here, but this still does not save. I also cannot move the picture. If I want to click on my mouse to get functionality, I go to my triangle and then I go to my mouse, which is on my toolbar. This will let me open up some functionality to roll through a website or flip back and forth between tabs. But as you see, the annotation stays in the exact same spot regardless of what I'm looking at. So I need to be very intentional about cleaning the board between things. And I do that by my triangle and my large eraser at the bottom. And yes. My third functionality feature is down here. So instead of clicking the pen, I click my mouse, and now I have complete functionality as I normally would on my mouse. So I can open and close applications. And I can run software, which is how I can capture and save my work. So I can use any interactive software or web-based interactive tool to capture my writing and my thinking for my class and then I may save in this function. To capture your work, you need interactive software. That can include Smart Notebook, Mimeo Studio, Awe App, Kami, OpenBoard, and Epson Software. For the best choice, work with your EdTech or your DTL.